Well, hello. It is time for our weekly Bible story adventure. And I am so glad to see you. I am so glad that you're here with me. And I'm just grateful every week for everything you send me, for your questions, for your pictures. I appreciate it more than you can ever know. So we have been walking around with Israel in the wilderness for weeks and weeks, right? It seems like for years. When we get to this story today, Israel's been wandering around the wilderness for 38 years. 38 years of God feeding them and giving them water, of them complaining and being punished and God forgiving them and starting over with them. 38 years of God protecting them from their enemies. 38 years waiting for the opportunity to go back to God's promised land, to this time trust God, this time go in, this time receive God's gifts. You remember all the stories we've told. And if, if you've forgotten them, if you're just joining me, they're all on the website. You can go back and listen to them all from the very creation of the world. We've been at this for a year together now, and we've made a lot of progress. At any rate, the people of Israel are wandering in the wilderness. Most of the people who disobeyed God are dead. They're about ready to go into Canaan. It's going to be soon now. And Moses wants them to take, wants to take them through a country called Edom. That, that it would be sort of a shortcut back to the border of Canaan, back to the place where they're going, back to the edge of the promised land. And, and he thought that this would be an easy deal because the Edomites and the Israelites, well, they're family, they're related. The Edomites descended from Esau and the Israelites from Jacob. Remember, and Jacob and Esau were, were brothers, the tw twin brothers. We've talked about them a lot. And so Moses thought that this would just be very easy. And he asked permission from the king of Edom, can we please go through your land? And the king said, uh, no. And Moses was a little surprised by that. And he said, well, please? And the king said, no. And, and Moses sent another message saying, listen, we'll just stay on the main highway. We won't, we won't step off the main highway. We won't pluck a, a single head of grain. We won't take a drink from your wells. We, won't, we will obviously won't touch the cattle and the animals in the field. Just, we just want to walk through your country, please. And the king said, no. And Moses said, well, what if we pay you? And the king said, listen, you come through Edom, I'm going to bring the army against you. It's going to be war. Moses didn't want that. He didn't want war with family. That, no. I, okay, we'll take the long way. Have it your way. So they started the long, dusty, tiring walk around this whole country of Edom. Now, Aaron, remember Moses' big brother Aaron? He's pretty old by now. He's really old. And God looked at Aaron, and God knew that Aaron's life was nearly at its end. And so he told Moses, he said, I want you and Aaron and Aaron's oldest son, Eleazar, to come and see me on that mountain over there. And so Moses and Aaron and Eleazar went up the mountain to talk to God and to see what God had on his mind. And God said to Aaron, it's time. And Aaron knew what he meant, that his life was ending. And God said to Aaron, take your clothes off, your priestly robes, and put them on your son Eleazar. And Aaron did that. And how proud he must have been to see that God had chosen his son Eleazar to take his place to be the high priest of Israel. You can imagine Aaron, the proud daddy, looking at his son, and Moses, Eleazar's uncle, looking at his nephew with pride and love. And then Aaron died. Moses and Eleazar buried Aaron there on the mountain, and they came down the mountain without him. And the people of Israel, they knew. They knew that Aaron had gone up and that he wasn't coming back. And they saw that Eleazar was dressed in his daddy's clothes, that Eleazar was wearing the robes of the high priest of Israel. And they were so grateful to God that God had given them a new high priest 
to lead their worship and lead their prayers and to administer their sacrifices and to pray for them when they made mistakes. And they were so sad that Aaron was gone. Aaron, who'd been with Moses, talking to Pharaoh, let my people go. Aaron, who had been with Moses the whole time that, that God had sent the plagues on Egypt. Aaron, who had walked with them out of Egypt and through the Red Sea and through the wilderness. Aaron, who had always prayed for them, always loved them, always cared for them, always worked with Moses. Aaron was gone. So they mourned. They stopped for 30 days. And they cried, and they remembered, and they thanked God for Aaron's life, and they thanked God for Eleazar, and then they started moving again toward the promised land. That's our story for today. Remember, our lives belong to God, that we're God's whether we live or whether we die, we belong to God, and that God will never let us go. Remember, just like God made a plan and a provision for Israel when Aaron got old, he sent him Eleazar. Remember, God has a plan and a purpose and has made provision for your life, that God sent you Jesus. You're never alone. You're never forgotten. I'll see you next week. I wonder what's going to happen next. Cannot wait. Be good.